flow my name is i kings guys and what a ending for monday night raw that was entertaining to say the least it was it was something it was definitely something first of all alexa bliss comes out here i saw the microphone so i knew it wasn't going to be no fight obviously it wasn't going to be a fight but alexa bliss did challenge randy orton so i guess some people thought they were actually going to fight i don't know why but alexa bliss comes in the ring and basically says do what you did to me what you did to the fiend and everybody knows what Randy Orton did to the Fiend. He burned him alive. And Alexa Bliss pours a whole, a whole ounce or, or a jar or something, a whole jar of gasoline all over her. And basically says, light the match. And then when he doesn't do it, he <laughs> Alexa Bliss calls him a bitch, ch challenging Randy Orton's of uh, manhood i don't know why she would even do that we all know Rand gordon is is <laughs> is is a maniac what he has done past years is literally what he has done in a couple of weeks but alexa bliss challenges him and randy gordon does something one of the the smart does one of the smartest things i have ever seen from a wwe wrestler because there are some idiots <laughs> that has been booked there has been some wrestlers that has been booked like idiots randy orton says i would burn you i would i definitely would i love seeing people in pain but you for some reason want me to do it and it seems like a trap not only that but <laughs> there is there he says there is something that is wrong it is something that is wrong and Randy Orton was probably right. If you really think about it, Alexa Bliss really wanted him to burn, really wanted him to burn her. Because of why? Does that mean, is that how she gets the Fiend back? Or is, does that mean she just wanted to see the Fiend? Because we all know where he is. He is in hell. And that is how she would get back with the Fiend. Maybe Alexa Bliss is so in love that she would die for the Fiend. Maybe that's it. Or maybe she was trying to sacrifice herself. Now, the number one question is, did Randy Orton actually burn Alexa Bliss? And I'm going to go with a hot no. He did not because the lights turned off at the last second, meaning you know who the Fiend returned. Now, I'm not for sure if the Fiend actually returned, returned, or maybe Alexa Bliss just did some supernatural stuff and disappeared out of the ring but i'm going to go ahead and go with alexa bliss did not get burned by randy warren if they did they probably would have showed this and they probably would have made it made it to where they can get money off of it of going into next week this is a good way of being not having to burn alexa bliss and leaving off on a cliffhanger we haven't had a cliffhanger in years it seems like so this was really good a refreshing cliffhanger if it's not one of those bullshit cliffhangers to where drew mcintyre is in the hell in a cell and randy orton opens the door and then they go to a cliffhanger who cares they fought okay fast forward to hell in a cell you feel me but this was a good cliffhanger because we are definitely going to come back and see like what happened what happened with alexa bliss what happened with blah 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 so this is good i like this main event monday night raw wasn't terrible it definitely wasn't good either but i i'll take it depending on what we've seen from raws in the past my name is i king sky so if you like these videos like and subscribe if you like these theories i have more on this channel like and subscribe and thanks for watching Show some on the ass like I'm the new gang. Passing these missions like life is all easy. Discriminating the mic like my name is.